All right, this adjustment is a supine reinforced middle interphalangeal talus pull for a lateral to medial or medial to lateral glide restriction of the tibio tailor joint. When we do this adjustment here, we're going to set up very similar to how we did our interphalangeal grasp before, but there's uh, a couple of distinct differences here. So I'll start with that, that middle finger on the anterior talus and I'm going to bring it over here. Now what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take that contact and I'm going to traction it over. So you can, I'll exaggerate it here, I'm gonna traction it over here. So I'm gonna traction medial to lateral, all right? My other hand here is going to come underneath that calcaneus and I'm going to cup the calcaneus here and I'm gonna use it as a handle, okay? So if I sit here, with my, the calcaneus secured. The calcaneus is not gonna move when I do my, uh, my preload, my little bit of attraction that I'm gonna do with that, that mid or, middle interphalangeal joint. So if I'm here, I'll traction over, and then I'm going to use that contact to pull straight through. Now what we've done is by adding a preload here and then distracting that joint, as soon as that joint unplugs, the tension that you've got from your preload will cause it to have a force of a medial to lateral added to that distraction. So yes, there is a distraction component to this, but we're, the ultimate goal here is to provide medial to lateral intervention on that talus, okay? The uh, medial to lateral here, or lateral to medial, I think, as I, I misspoke before, but the, the medial to lateral motion here would be using my outside hand, gripping over that, that anterior talus, again, stabilizing with my, uh, with my inside hand on that calcaneus, tractioning over, and then pulling straight down, okay? So this adjustment is a supine reinforced middle interphalangeal talus pull for a medial to lateral or lateral to medial glide restriction of the tibio-tailor joint.